Hi, my name is Freddy Toledo, and this is my art story, Cosecha de los Sueños. Think back to the 1960s and 1970s. What was going on throughout the world? The Vietnam War was at an all-time high. Nearly 150,000 American troops were overseas and fighting in the Viet Cong jungles. And of course, with the war going on, propaganda stormed the society, warning people about drugs and warning people about their participation in the war. Even if it wasn't overseas, they wanted people to show their patriotism on the stage side. Along with propaganda, the Vietnam War was fueled by protests for asking for peace and asking the government to stop sending troops overseas to fight in the Viet Cong jungle. And of course, how could we forget Neil Armstrong, the first astronaut who supposedly set foot on the moon? And of course, how could we forget the tragic loss of President John F. Kennedy and his assassination while he toured Texas and multiple other states? This ultimately led to the Chicano movement in the late 1960s that empowered young youth and even farm workers to stop working in the fields of California. The Chicano movement was caused by unequal rights, unequal education, and the discrimination in society as well. Harvested the fields of California were being underpaid and given very little to nothing for the amount of work they did, but quickly became ill to the exposure of chemicals that the cops were grown with to avoid losing profit. That being said, a leader emerged known as Cesar Chavez, in which he led the Chicano Civil Rights Movement by taking a stand against all discrimination and boycotting the farms that grew produce that was picked by migrant workers. Along with Cesar Chavez stood Robert Kennedy, in which he pushed for immigration reforms in his efforts to help provide more support to the Chicano movement and empower those working the fields to overcome the adversity. Along with these figures stood Rodolfo Corky Gonzalez, that created poems and led youth Chicano movements to give the youth a voice in a hate-filled society. The Chicano movement faced racism just like anywhere else at the time. Many schools began walkouts and groups for protection, known as the Black Panthers and the Brown Berets. They helped the minority students continue on with their education without having the fear of facing racism in school. Cesar Chavez stood as one of the most prominent leaders because of his connection with the people and how he identified with their struggles. Rather than preaching about their struggles, he went out into the fields and boycotted alongside farm workers. Yeah. Known as patriotism, in which many Chicano artists reflected their love for their culture through their art pieces. This image was one of the most popular due to its message about farm workers were dehumanized and seen as laborers rather than people. In this image, you can see a silhouette of a farm worker who is picking fruit with a bag draped over his shoulder. The bag reads UFW, known as United Farm Workers, that was a movement that Cesar Chavez stood by and fought for alongside the migrant workers of the fields of California. Now take a look at this image. I guarantee you, everyone in this classroom has at least seen this image once in their lifetime. This image looks familiar now. This is Sun Mad. This image was created by Seth Hernandez. This image is a screen print image with the dimensions of 26 by 30. The words intesticides, mysticides, herbicides, and fungicides I ran at the bottom of the box to show what farm workers had to deal with. Right there. She also adds and replaces sun made with sun mad to show the frustration with the discrimination of the migrant workers 
she's seen on a daily basis. The skeleton is a reflection of the chemicals effects on the human body and how the exposure was slowly killing the field workers who harvested the produce in California. And as you can see, she is holding a basket of grapes, which was highly harvested in California. Along with the changes to the box, as you can see on the bottom, unnaturally grown with, and she follows she follows up by listing the number of chemicals that were used to grow crops with. This is Estet Hernandez. Her piece, Sun Med, was created in 1981, in which she used for the Chicano movement, in which she expresses her anger as a reflection of the Sun Made image. Estet, coming from a migrant family, was exposed to her roots at a young age because she too was raised around a family that worked the fields of California. This is another piece of Esther Hernandez's art collection. This piece caught my attention with the usage of the Virgin Mary in which she uses there and the hand placing a flower on the very bottom of the Virgin Mary tattooed on the back of a female's back. The reason why this image caught my attention was because it has the key components of religion and it also reflects back to Estead's close roots to her family as well as to her culture. To add to Estead's collection, this piece, for example, was a proper was considered a propaganda piece in which she defines the Virgin Mary as a terrorist. She does this as an example of how culturally shocked people are at other people's religions. And as you can see, there is a wanted sign with the Virgin Mary listed as a terrorist, with the names Guadalupe, Reina de las Americas, Virgencita, Nuestra Madre, Madre Lupe, and Lupita. The reason why she does this is to show how culturally shocked the U.S. has became and this ultimately helped push the Chicano movement into the right direction by giving them the right support to their religious ways and their culture roots. Cultural roots. Finally, this is my art piece. I decided to name it Roots. I decided to create this art piece by using my sombrero to illustrate my connection to my roots and a rosary to show my religious beliefs. I used a book that said America's Pathways to show how many opportunities are available in this country, but also the book under has a title Exploring Life, which I currently am doing to find what career I feel comfortable committing my life to. I use a hat as a symbol of heritage as well to illustrate that even though my academics will open doors for me in the long run, I will always remember where I came from and the pride that my family takes in their heritage as well. Along with my art piece, I decided to create an exposure effect to all vivid colors to make the key elements such as a sombrero and books become the focal point of the image taken. This made a more dramatic effect by darkening the background and lightening up the vivid colors in the front of the image. To conclude, I use my title Cosecha de los Sueños, which means Harvest of Dreams, to illustrate how we all seem to dream but often forget our roots when we're stargazed. This project opened my eyes and made me realize that the Chicano movement was a rebirth of cultural pride and how now our society seems to forget that a label in society does not make who you are or how you were raised. This project made me look into my roots and like instead, it made me mindful of my beginnings no matter what path I choose to go down. I will remember my how hardworking my parents have been just like instead was mindful of her parents suffering and her ancestors suffering. At the end of the day, I'm a Chicano as well, 
and I love my roots. Thank you for your time.